Nobody's moving any better than you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sounds good. You're doing great. All right. All right, Julie, what did uh, what advice did you give Justin? He's about, what, mile four? Uh, probably, no, probably a little further, like maybe mile five. Okay. You know, like he's moving really well um, and running as well as anybody else out here. He's just got to keep his core temp down. You know, it's so slow down through the aid stations, slow down through the misting stations, grab ice, just keep drinking, not get greedy. Jeannie, vibe check. Where are we at in this race? What's going on? Oh, I'm so stoked. Justin's holding strong for third, which is so awesome. I just would love to see him on the podium. It's just like so great to see all his hard work just come through, um, especially on a really hot day. Like it's super hot right now. This last lap is going to be crazy, but um, I think he's been patient all day. And yeah, just really stoked. All right, Julie, how are we sitting? What's the update? He just moved up into second, um, which is pretty awesome. And now he just needs to, yeah, not um, do anything silly. <laughs> is that him? That's him. 520 back. 520 up to Sam. Come on, Justin. So awesome, Justin. Go ahead. 520 back. You gotta keep drinking. You gotta just stay where you are. You're doing great. How far back are they? Uh, you're good, babe. You're good. Keep drinking. Jeannie, <laughs> where are you at? Where are you at right now? Well, Justin's in second place, <laughs> but it is 100 degrees out here. <laughs> I had to apply more sunscreen. Um, yeah, we have about five miles left to go. So yeah, Justin just has to pretty much hold his pace and he's going to take that second place. So, woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Vibe check, how are we feeling? It's not a video, it's a video. It's a video? <laughs> oh, awesome day in Coeur d'Alene in Idaho. Uh, Justin had an amazing race, incredible heat. Triple digits. Um, just no way to kind of describe the performance. A culmination of years of work. Yeah, I, I know. It's just like crazy because we've just been through so much together. And it's like these days just make up for everything, you know. Just when you have those disappointing races and all the hard work and just like making all the sacrifices and investing so much in the sport. It's just like, yeah, yeah it's just a great day. Absolutely. <laughs> and there's only a couple of us here representing today, but there's scores of people at home. Mom, yep. grandma. Everyone's sharing. So, so there's, it takes a Big village. Hits. <laughs> Alright, give us the rundown. What's up team? Alright, well we'll take that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just amped. Uh, second place here at Ironman Coeur d'Alene. Uh, yeah, I'm almost speechless. Like, I uh, really am not super... Um, it takes a lot for me to get kind of worked up and I was, yeah, like a baby crying at the finish line there. I, I was saying, I've done triathlon my whole life and watched Ironman Hawaii on TV 
every year as a kid, just glued to it. We'd have watch parties. It was just such a big thing for me. And so I always dreamed of that being my life, but never really believed it was possible. And yeah, I've spent yeah over 10 years of my life focusing on trying to be a good Ironman athlete. And today I think I proved to myself. So it's really just, I'm really proud of myself and I'm really grateful for the team around me. What he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my guy, we going to Disneyland or what? We're going somewhere. <laughs> the Hawaii version of Disneyland, baby. <laughs> yeah, Kona, the big dance, the big show. Yeah, uh, uh, what can I say? Uh, what can I say? Tell us how you feel. Yeah. How do you feel? Um, you? Yeah, it means everything. It really does. Like, I don't know if today was even on my own radar. I think I surprised myself. Like, I trained the house down the last two months. And you trust that that means something, but you don't know what it actually means until you get there and you put it, string it all together. Like fitness doesn't equal performance. And that's something I've learned many times. And execution is a completely different ball game. So to be able to have the, the backbone of the fitness and go and execute a race that is like on par with that feels pretty incredible. Um, yeah, I think three external main takeaways, second overall, first Ironman podium, Course record, Sam also had the course re or course record. So we've got two. You know, he he broke the course record as well. Both of us broke the previous. Um, and yeah, ticket to Kona. So I just I, there's not not much else that you can hope for in a race uh, like that. So I'm just a stoked, dude, right now. Um, yeah, I'm just amped. Three minutes. Yeah, I don't know what it was at the end. It must have been probably more like five. But I think number one. Sam's legit. We all know that. Like, Sam's going to win Kona one day. He's going to win big races. Like, it's a once in a generation type talent. And I hope that, yeah, I think I'm, I have definitely a little bit more of like um, a different story. Like, I obviously have some talent. And Sam trains the house down too. But um, yeah, mine comes from just kind of like year after year after year, plucking away and plucking away and plucking away. So I think for like anyone out there, who is someone who came to triathlon and you don't know whether or not this is something that you can be good at. I'm telling you right now, you can be good at it because I wasn't supposed to be good at this sport. And now I'm proving to myself every day that I can be up there with some of the best in the world. So yeah, racing someone like Sam is super motivating to me. Me and him have had a rivalry for many years, being young guys, both based in Boulder, similar age. And yeah, we're just ultra competitive and his career's gone like this. And I'm hoping that something like today can show that I'm sort of like in that discussion to be one of the young up and coming dudes who has to also be kind of um, on people's radar. So I don't know if today was enough to stamp that into people's minds, but at least for me, I'm really pumped uh, with my own performance. And I've said it before, like for me, it's about the personal growth and personal development and the journey and that is the most gratifying piece. I think wins and losses, all of that stuff will kind of like come and go. Money, prize money and sponsorship, all these things, they'll, they'll come and go, right? But the one thing that I'll always have is like this arc of my career. And I think like, I think, I wanna think back on that with moments like today that were so special, right? And I said it in my interview after the race, I grew up dreaming about Iron Man. Iron Man's it for me scouring triathlete magazine and lava magazine and watching Kona replays on YouTube and DVRing it and watching it every Sunday after my long runs and stuff. And just like, I, I'm one of the most passionate triathlon fans that you'll find. And now to be one of the guys that other kids are looking up to and achieving some of the goals that I set for myself as a kid that I didn't even like realistically think were possible. And now I'm kind of like knocking through some of those doors. It's an insane feeling. Like it's, it's, yeah, it re honestly doesn't even feel real um, sometimes to be sitting here and like actually have people thinking that I can be something in this. So it just feels like it feels crazy. It feels good. It feels weird. It feels uh, yeah, fun. I don't even know. There's a million descriptors. Um, I'm just happy right now. Do you plan to actually enjoy this? Yeah, I think, yeah, I am enjoying it. Yeah, I think it's one of those things I don't want to downplay anything because today was like insane right but i think as a professional you know there's always there's one more spot to go right you want to win and so uh yeah i'm motivated to get back to the drawing board you know 
um, and figure out what I got to do to just find the next step. I think that's the definition of a professional to sit here and say, all right, what do I got to do next time to be even just a little bit better? So I think it's just great signs that me and my team have things firing. Um, you know, the support that I have from my family and my wife and my coaches and all my like physiotherapists and massage therapists and like my sponsors, every, like I feel like the team is starting to gel and we've just got to like continue to forge on the path. And I think the big aspect of me is like the patience piece. I have to be patient and days like today will continue to come and hopefully even uh, on a bigger stage or with more competitiveness or even like more um, better performance. So I think overall, I'm just um, excited to keep on, keep the train rolling. All right. First off, huge, huge thank you to the people on course who cheered Big Mets. I don't think I've ever had a race where I've had more than just like a handful of people who I personally know cheering for me. And I probably didn't, I don't think I went three minutes without someone yelling a go Big Mets or someone coming up to me before the race telling me that they watched the channel. So these videos, I think sometimes you get desensitized to like the, the subscribers coming in or the comments coming in, but to actually see faces and have people tell, tell me how much they enjoy the videos and how much they inspire them, that means so much to me. So if you like this video, please let me know whether that's in person or in the comments, like it, share it. Like I wanna keep doing these for you guys. I have a lot of fun, Kenny and I have a lot of fun making them and it's really motivating for me to continue to share this journey um, with you and then hopefully something that I can look back on in years to come and say like, man, that was a freaking badass time in my life. So <laughs> let's keep on rolling and uh, thank you guys. We'll see you at the next race. Kona, baby. Woo! <laughs>